grow. Hey, sis, do you have the blues today? No, I don't have the blues today. I don't get the blues anymore. Do you have the blues today? No, I don't get the blues anymore either. Hey, do you think we should tell these folks how they can avoid the blues? Sure. Hello, my name is Gabriel Rakuto. I'm 11 years old and I'm in the Country Center for H Club. Hello, my name is Rachel Rakuto. I'm 14 years old and I'm in the Country Center for H Club. We are both in the Junior Master Gardening Project, where we are learning about nutrition. Today, we have come to tell you some of the stuff we have learned. Today, we are going to explain the food pyramid, what the nutrition label really says, and we're going to share with you a fun song. The food pyramid has five groups, grains, vegetables, fruits, milk and dairy, and meat and beans. The grains group. Grains are very important in a balanced diet. You should eat six ounces of grains each day. One ounce is about a slice of bread, a cup of cereal, one half cup of cooked <coughs> rice or pasta. Now, if you don't know the difference, you should be eating whole grain flours, not white processed flours. Here's the difference. A whole grain flour will include the outer covering and the inside kernel of the grain. And white processed flour will remove the outer covering, which removes a lot of the nutrition and fiber. The vegetables. Eat at least two and a half cups of vegetables daily. Eat a variety of vegetables, especially dark greens and oranges. Raw vegetables <coughs> are great for you, but baked and steamed are good too. The fruit. Eat two, three cups of fruit each day. You should eat a variety of colors and a variety of different fruits. If you don't like fruits plain, they go bet great in smoothies. Fresh or best, but frozen is still good for you. Milk and dairy. This includes milk, cheese, yogurt, ice cream, and any other dairy <coughs> product. Buy low-fat milk or choose rice milk, soy milk, or almond milk. These milks that come from plants are still have lots of calcium and protein. Meats and beans. Meats and beans is the last group on the food pyramid. Eat two, a three serving of meats and beans each day. Now remember, meat isn't the only thing in this group. Nuts and beans are great for you too. It's okay to get a little nutty, you know. <laughs> So, Gabriel, about how big is one serving of meat? Very good question, Rachel. A very small <laughs> patch, the size of a deck of cards. These servings are just a guideline. You may need to eat more or less food, depending on your size and activity level. Remember, the key to a healthy diet is variety and don't overeat. The nutrition label <coughs> may be hard to decipher, but what you can, you may be surprised to see what's in some of your favorite foods. The serving size. Is what you're eating just a serving? If you eat double the serving size, you're getting double the calories and double the other nutrients. The calories. Don't break out of calories. They're just your food energy. But make yours count. Compare the number of calories with the other nutrients to decide if this is a good food for you. Total fat. This will tell you how much fat in this product you're getting in one serving. This both includes saturated and trans fats. Both these fats are listed separately on the food label. Because these are the two fats you should try to avoid. Both these fats raise cholesterol levels and increase, increase the risk of heart disease. Sodium. Keep your sodium in check. Processed foods like macaroni and cheese often contain a lot of sodium. Look for foods that are low in sodium. This means that they have less than 140 milligrams of sodium per serving. Carbohydrates. Carbohydrates break down very quickly in your body, so they give you a burst of energy. Dietary fiber. Unfortunately, most Americans do not get enough fiber. Aim for 25 to 30 grams of fiber per day. Sugar. This includes both naturally occurring and added sugars. Protein. Protein is a great energy source because it breaks down slowly. It gives you a large supply of energy. You should choose foods high in protein. Vitamins and minerals. This will tell you what vitamins and minerals this food contains. Look for foods high in vitamin A, vitamin C, calcium, and iron. Percentage daily value, also known as DV. This will tell you how much percent in one serving of this product you're getting based on a 2,000 calorie diet. So, now we know what to look for. It shouldn't be hard to make healthier food choices. As you walk the aisles of the grocery store, you may notice, however, that some things don't have a nutrition label. This is fresh fruits and vegetables. When you're buying different kinds of fresh fruits and vegetables, look up what kinds of nutrition they have. Now we're going to share with you a fun song that's in our Junior Master Gardening curriculum. 
We made all of these props ourselves, and my brother Gabriel composed the music for this song. In conclusion, we have learned about the five groups of the food pyramid. Grains, vegetables, fruits, milk and dairy, and meat and beans. We've also learned how to read a nutrition label so we can all become more informed consumers. And from our song, we have learned that junk food isn't good food. So remember, eat healthy so you feel good so you don't get the low.